Okay, so this is going to be video three, and in this video I'm strictly going to talk about the truck driving school from start to end, what you can expect and what may or may not happen, going off my experiences. So, after you contacted the company or after you decided what school you want to go to and it's set, you've got your start date and you're going to that school, I recommend that schooling is going to take you around four weeks. Now, some companies offer a bonus pay for each week if you go, some companies don't. With that being said, I still recommend these steps. One, take 10 to $20 a day that you're going to be at school to live off of for food and whatever. Take plenty of clothes, plenty of shirts, socks, and take tennis shoes and take boots, steel-toed boots. Take pens, papers, just take as if you're going back to high school pretty much and do that. <laughs> um, your first day of school is going to be pretty boring. Like I said, just cover from my experiences. It's just going to be a lot of paperwork signing and welcoming you to the school and going over a whole bunch of stuff. But your first week is going to be a really slam-packed information week. You're going to start going over stuff. You're going to get welcomed into the school. You're going to get welcomed into the industry, what they expect of you, um, the things you're going to have to learn and remember for the long term and short term and to graduate and all kinds of good stuff. So that first week is really going to be pounded. So when you go, be aware that it's like going to high school, but instead of four years to retain this information, you have four weeks. And it's a make it or break it type thing. So your first week, you made it through, you got the information, things are starting to stick, you got to move and you're going. Week two in truck driving school. Everyone's different, but going off what mine is, you're probably going to be put out on the yard. And that is being around the trucks, being around trailers, starting to learn how they work, shifting, backing, everything. Your pre-trip, your post-trip, how to do your time logs, how to read maps, test. You have one or two tests for your first two weeks, and then after that, the tests kind of go away until you graduate. Um, but your second week, you're going to be out in the yard. You're going to start being around the equipment. It's going to become more hands-on instead of sitting in the classroom from the school that I went to. Some schools might be your second day you're out in the yard. Just keep that in mind. But it's going, things will go fast. You'll go from classroom to the yard to behind the steering wheel to testing to out the door you go with your CDL if you make it that far. Week three, it's going to be go time. It's going to be learning how to back straight back, offset 90. Um, it's going to be learning how to shift, double clutch. They go over all that. Um, and it's just going to be a really, it's going to feel like a lot of pressure, but at the same time, it's just basic information. And it's more of the pressure of if you don't make it, you're out. It's that simple. It's sorry you didn't make it, you didn't pass. You have to either come back again and try and pay all over again or go to a different school um your last week will be kind of anxious i would say the word um you'll have three tests you'll have your backing test your pre-trip test and your driving test now schools might do it a little bit different they might mix it up and stuff how the school I went to did it was you took your backing test, you took your pre-trip, and then you took your driving test. Um, backing test, and for those of you that are, you've got it in your head that you're going, you're just watching this to get some more information, get behind the steering wheel of the equipment as much as you can. Not driving, but backing. Driving is easy. Anybody can drive this truck forward. It's the turning and backing is what's going to hang most of the people up. Get that down, really dig into it, and really learn the aspects of it. Aspects, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm tired. Learn the functions. Um, learn the tricks of the trade. 
Learn how to set your tandems so you can make tighter turns. Learn your fifth wheel settings and how, how you can adjust it to make backing and turning. It, it, they'll cover it. Just make sure you get all of it. Um, what a lot of companies and what a lot of schools won't tell you and what a lot of people don't know is let's say a class of 20 people go in. Your first week, half of them is automatically going to be out. They'll either fail the drug test, they don't know how to speak English well, or they just come to find out that this is not the industry that they want to be in. So your first week, you go from 20 people to 10. Week two, a little bit more people start falling off. It's when you really start getting behind the wheel. When you get to climb up in the truck and you start driving it, people realize it's a totally monster that they don't want to mess with. And out of those 10 people, you could say three are probably going to leave that week. Now, it's not because they don't know how or it's whatever. It, everybody has their own reasons. So let's say out of class of 20, there's only seven people left now. When you graduate, out of those seven people, probably in between two to four will graduate. I went in in the class of 25 and there was only four or five of us that graduated. So it's, you have to mentally prepare yourself when you go to truck driving school and you have to be well aware. It's not like regular school. It's either you're gonna make it or you're gonna be told to leave or sorry you didn't make it. There ain't no all try again type thing. You'll either do it or you won't do it. It's, they're not gonna keep giving you chances over and over and over. At the school I went to, you got three chances. You failed the third time, sorry. Try again, come back, start all over again. And that's just the way the schooling is gonna be. And they are going to push you through. There are some schools that cover more than others. So if you feel yourself like you're missing something, just ask, go online cover everything and just be aware that a month is a long time to live in a hotel room you will end up probably sharing a room with somebody unless that person either fails or gets kicked out and then you'll get a new roommate I had a roommate half, almost halfway through I got a new one cause I found out what type of person he was and I just I wasn't gonna live in that mess and I'm a very clean person and that's just how I am, and I'm sure a lot of y'all are the same. Some of y'all might be different, but be aware you will have to share a room with somebody. Communication skills, you're going to have to achieve. You're going to have to get to become open. And if you're one of those people that kind of stay to yourself, you're going to have to get out of it because the schools, you're going to need to communicate back and forth. Um, I highly recommend that. And, uh, yeah pretty much all for this video so check out the next video the next video I got a list here uh, <laughs> is gonna be uh, welcome into the company what you should expect when you start at a truck company so that's gonna be video probably th three there's this one three might be four I don't know I'm starting to lose my mind <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching like drop a comment don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. I can't talk today. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.